Evening everybody, we're here in South Croydon for our second live Q&A and we've got Chrome Star with us. So thank you for joining us Chrome. <laughs> so what we're going to do, same rules as uh, the last week's uh, Q&A, we're here live. So it's a live Q&A, please interact with us with your own questions and we'll ask them straight here. The comments are right in front of us and you can see them. If you want to shout out, we'll give you a mention, but more importantly, get some questions rolling and we'll get interaction between the three of us. So thanks for joining us. Been a while, mate. Yeah, been years. That month. <laughs> so thanks for inviting us down here. Great food. So should we give a little mention as to where we are? Yeah. Apertura, Apertura South Croydon. Just come and check it out. Just uh, they've loaded me up, me up big time. So, so what's going down? Music wise, let's talk. Let's talk music and chrome style. <laughs> Usual, man. Usual. Music, music, music. Really. Yeah. yeah, still building. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do? We're going to open up questions. Um, we're going to have the questions here uh, in the comments here. So if you if you joined us um, on the Get Darker Facebook page in the comments section below this video, you can see us. Just type in a comment right there, and we will see it. And there's loads coming through now, but I need to refresh it. So let's go here. You have to bear with us, it's entirely live. There's 22 comments, we ain't even read any of them yet. So let's refresh this. So we'll come back to We've got Capish Kale. Um, big up Matthew Rodriguez as well. Thanks for everyone's locked in. Big up Beasy locked in. Good to have you with us, mate. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. So, building, building, building. Yeah. Releasing. What have we got coming? We've got um, Nebula 003 coming up. Right. Which yeah. is Chrome Star? So, yeah, Chrome Star. It's an old That's thing that I've done. Yeah. The system <laughs> test. Right. So when's that? When's that? I don't even know. Soon, 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 yeah, soon. This year, definitely this year. I think around November, this this month or next month. Gotcha. A lot of things going on the next time, right? Yeah. So yeah. how's the how's the pipeline building for Chrome Star Beats? Are you still as active as we always remember as Chrome Star being? No, no. I'm taking time now. Yeah. Go yeah. on, explain. What, what's happening there? It's then? not. It's not. It's not um, 10 beats a week anymore. Yeah. In the back cave? Yeah. You, you know still got the back cave there, yeah? Yeah, the back cave there. The Batmobile was parked outside, so <laughs> it's all right. But yeah, it's not, it's, I'm taking time now with everything. Yeah. Focusing on what though? Any, is it dubstep? Because you've never really been dubstep. You've been kind yes. of underground music, isn't it? Whether it's Basically. this BPM, this BPM, or this BPM, or dubstep BPM. So yeah. what, what, what are you focusing on at the moment then? Bass music in general. So just unrestricted, no, yeah, no limits, just, no BPM in specific. Just however way I feel. Gotcha. If I feel a certain way, I'm. That's you. That's me. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? If I, if I wanna, if I wanna make a jazz tune, yeah, I will make a jazz tune. If I wanna make a flipping, I don't know, pop tune. I say that I've made pop, but have you made pop? No. Yeah, I've good I've answer. Have some pop. <laughs> So, so, in, so what about Nebula, the, um, the label, is, is that limited to BPMs or is that just going to follow no. a path, whatever you're feeling in terms of... Yeah, ne Nebula is me. Yeah. I am Nebula, so whatever I make, that's yeah. what it is. But my main focus isn't on what the people like and what the people want, do you know what I mean? Because if yeah. it ain't that, then it's pointless. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so in terms of studio sound, change... Studio sounds or anything recently, or the setup? What set was you using anyway? You've always kept consistent in terms of your secrets. Anything changed? Yeah. Go on. A lot's changed. We got Razor Rector. You hooked me up with some tubes, right? Stuff like that. So I'm just I'm running analog now. Just straight analog, right? Yeah. Wow. So I'm still learning though. Yeah. As I'm going along, I'm still learning. You still manage to pump out the typical Chrome Star bottom end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I've just moved house as well, so I'm just still trying to work out <laughs> how stuff sounds in the new room. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you're set up now, ready, yeah. ready for business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we just, if we open this out to a couple of questions here, we've got, we've got 45 Chrome, so we're going to be here probably a while, mate. Uh, there you go. Liam Ginty was watching Get Dark TV 001 earlier. Salute to you, mate. Get Darker Zero Zero One was you, mate. March two thousand and nine. Do you remember that? Yeah. Old Street Studios, the Drum Bass Arena Studio. We had the AI crew for that. I wasn't even drinking then. 
you're probably still on the same plane. <laughs> so, so we'll be Liam on that. Um, are the winter days your best moments for productions? That's from Olaf de Rouge. So winter days, are they the best moments for your production? Winter days. It's probably because you're moody. Your production can be moody. Yeah. Winter times can be a bit gully still. So. Yeah? yeah? Is that when the Iron Soul comes out? No, Iron Soul is when, like, when I'm with like, when I'm with my bird and that bird. <laughs> that's Iron Soul. Right. You know what I mean? That's, yeah. that's the vibe. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. So Benjamin V says, I wish I had some ideas for some of the white labels from you since day, like years ago. So let's talk about white labels then. So you haven't just released on Nebula. We obviously get, got Mental Universe on Get Darker, which is still... <laughs> A fun bar, um, deep medi. I mean, I don't some label all the labels, but so in terms of this comment here, Benjamin V, white labels. Did you release loads of stuff from white labels in the early days then, or what? What's the, what's the, what's no, the comment there? No, I'm doing white labels with the iron sort of thing, innit? And the reason why I'm doing that is because back in the day, if you bought a grime tune, there was no label with white labels. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like Dizzy Rascal, I Love You was a white label. Yeah. There's no, nothing on it. Yeah. Unless he put a stamp on it, yeah. that's it. But there was nothing. That's why I'm doing the white labels and the iron sort of thing. But you're going to label them, or is it just... No. That's where I'm from, so I'm just going to keep it white label. <laughs> um, Matthew Rodriguez says, uh, this accent sounds familiar. There you go. <laughs> so we've got 52 comments now, but for some reason... What accent? What accent? It must be yours. It must be my, yours, mate. My accent's changed since I've got out of the CRO postcode, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's get out of these comments. We can see them coming through, so bear with us, everyone. Um, there's 55 comments. Keep the comments coming. We will get through them if I can get to them. Here we go. Um, here we go. We've got uh, Luis Nava Martinez. How did you get into the scene? Oh, that's a great question. I don't even know that. I met you in the scene, albeit 15 years ago. Yeah. How did, how did you get in the scene? How did you appear in underground production, music, DJing? Croydon Roots or what? Yeah. It's building beats, man. It's Link Hatcha, Link Mala. That's it, man. As soon as you give it your tunes, yeah. that's it. Yeah. So for those who are wondering where we are, Big Apple Records is probably about a minute walk that way? Yeah. Maybe two minutes? Surrey Street Market. So we're right yeah. in Surrey Street, South Korea. So we're one home turf, mate. Yeah, come on, started. Man. Come on, bro. Come <laughs> so, on, bro. So, uh, so, uh, so there you go. Uh, RJ Elliott says, will Kalawanji 2 ever get a release? I want to know the answer to this one. No? Why not? It's just won't. Just anthem in itself. Why, why revisit it? I don't even know what Kalawanji 2 sounds like. I don't even know. I don't know, bro. <laughs> it's not coming up. Right. Sorry to break the bad news, uh, Elliot. Um, but we won't be seeing that. I haven't got it either. So if I can be, I can be cheeky it. and just put it out tomorrow and just free upload and that, but nah, it's all long. Nah, it's all long. So we need we need to try to get through some more of these. Um, if we can, um, <clears throat> let's try and get someone technical who can help us with. Yeah, we need <laughs> these comments here because um, we've got. We, we've got all these comments it keeps freezing so we've now got 64 comments so for some reason for some reason our comments are not um loading up there we go this will do for now so this one's uh, benjamin thompson gardner what's your opinion of music being uploaded to youtube to your music to youtube there's nothing wrong in that so your 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 view is if someone has got a copy of one of your tracks and they like it they're a fan they just upload it to their own channel yeah there's nothing wrong in that cool that yeah. And then you see it's got two million plays on it. Fine with that? Yeah. So you wrong just share the, share the music. Yeah. If you're a DJ and you've got my tune, then it's the problem. Yeah. And I don't even know. Then it's the problem. But usually they put like radio rips, I guess, a lot of the time as well. Yeah, it's nothing wrong in that, man. Yeah. There's nothing wrong in that. YouTube's become a, a major thing, so. Yeah. What's the point? Yeah. Uh, and then we've got uh, Casey Sapling Kyle. <laughs> Sapling. Uh, he says, um, and good and good, where's the tunes, man? So where's the tunes? So in terms of, I guess he's on about releases then. So we've got Nebula 003, anything else coming out sort of in the near future, Chrome style wise, or are you yeah. sticking to your own label for a while? What's the... To my label, man. Yeah, so that's you now, that's your home. Yeah, that's home, man. So, where, so in terms of um, 
final digital, where can I grab that? Is there like a Nebula store? Yeah, there's a, I've got a band camp. Yeah. If you go on my Facebook and that, you'll see, what is it? forward slash bandcamp forward slash this and that. I don't know where it is. It's just too but you'll find it. Yeah, you'll and find also, it. breaking news, Chrome Star is now on Instagram. Yeah. Welcome to Instagram, mate. So, what's your Instagram name? Chrome Star Seven. Chrome Star Seven. Chrome Star Seven. Get following on there. Yeah. Um, we've also got a uh, uh, big up Daz Sound Dubs. Um, big up to you, mate. Thanks a lot. Um, are you coming to Belgium anytime soon? Book me. Get them motherfuckers <laughs> to book me, man. I ain't been in Belgium for time. What's wrong with you? No, I haven't. And it always goes off out there as well. I know. Right, so I to get these comments up, for some reason they're not filtering through, we're going to have to keep refreshing the page to view the comments. So we've got 80 comments now, mate. This is going to be a long night. Um, would Chrome Star... Oh, what's that say? Would Chrome Star go live on the label? Um, what would, that What do you mean by that? Do you mean a live show or a, a big up... Uh, big up SCN Barry. Um, hit us up with your comment back in there, mate. We'll get through that. Yeah. Um, why did you pick System to put up Mare Share? Oh, that's a good question because you know every every label wanted that, me included. <laughs> um, big up Axel that Allen. Qu- that's a deep question, you know. Is there a go on then? Can you answer it? I can answer it, yeah. but then I can't yeah, answer it. Get me. <laughs> Vivex, my brethren, isn't it? It's my boy, and it only made sense. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But big up Vivek anyway. System sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there you go. Right. So I'm going to try and get these comments up on. Here, ring me, Vivek. <laughs> ring me. Let's try and get these comments up from here. Um, right, so I'm going to try and get whoa, these we don't want the sound on. Don't want to hear my own voice. Here we go. Now we've got all the comments live in front of us, mate. Right. So, when can we expect your album part two? Be up, um, Monte Monte Di Matteo. Monte. Yeah. I know that is. Do you? Monte Dubs. When, when can we expect your album part two? Yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. I'm still yeah. working on it. Yeah. That's what we're just talking about, like with the sound and that. Yeah. Is that the thing you showed me over there? Yeah, that's, oh, that's right. one of them. Right. And then Beezy's got we just caught back of one of Beezy's gonna we ain't worked in donkeys. So Beezy, we, the, your first question must have cut off there, mate. I assume that's uh you haven't worked with Beezy in Donkeys, so Beezy? You see Beezy, yeah? When he vocals say yes. Game over. It's only a matter of time, BZ. You start working. <laughs> oh, start doing some push ups. <laughs> there you go. Shout um, out BZ, though. Yeah, we are BZ again. Thank you. Um, we done the Get Dark 10 years last week um, at Fire. I saw Control the Sound. Mm. BZ, be up on that. Um, we, I recorded my Cyrus and BZ set, and uh, I'm going to put it up, up tomorrow. So it's a vinyl set, a few crackly dubs. Big up BZ, absolutely held it down, smashed it, mate. What, what? Sam Kaplan um, says, can we expect any Chrome Star clothing merch? This is shit, bro. Have you seen that? The, the, person, that, the person that made this year, look at the eyes. <laughs> Why does it look like he's closing his eyes on? What happened to the roof one? <laughs> look, I got his stitch from some company and they fucked me over. He's got, got like... Sleepy eye. Closing the eyes on that. Like <laughs> some pussy cat and that. <laughs> so but yeah. We've got some new stuff coming still. So we've got new new Chrome Star clothing. Yeah, yeah? So, and I do I do my own designs and that innit? So I've got a few things. So you won't have a wonky eye? No, no, no. <laughs> um so here we go. Medi 001, Kalawanji with Assess Man is still a tune. Um it goes off to this day and it, it really does. What elements oh, did yeah. you work with and which element did Cess work with? So I guess how was that kind of calibration? Do you know what? These times I was in Cellars, yeah? Yeah. I was living in Cellars. And my old man, my dad, who I don't see anymore, he brought me a big subwoofer, bro. And me and Cess, man, were like, yeah, let's make a tune on the subwoofer. A big subwoofer, like 22 inch, you know? <laughs> Vibes and then that, that assess man come up with a B line and I manipulated the B line. I said, Bro, I need a bigger drop. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I said, You need to say something, just say anything. And he's like, Yeah, yeah, I said, yeah, yeah, do that. Oh, so that's actually a sample you, you two recorded. It yeah, that was him. 
And basically, I had the, there's a thing on Fruity Loops called the granulizer. Yeah. And there's a whole button. But when he was like, yeah, yeah, press the whole button. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, so it wasn't like, yeah, that's what it was, bro. <laughs> it just had a big speaker and I to take the piss. <laughs> so, we got um, Daz Sound Dubs on that. Cheers, mate. We got Shivers. We got Shivers locked in. Yeah, we got Sess, man. But Shivers locked in. Good to see you, mate. Um, Cameron Gardner says, Chrome Star, when are you finally going to make a trip to Denver for the submission show? What Shivers is that? Shivers, Shivers. Yeah, Shivers, Shivers, Shivers. The Butcher Shivers. Well, where's he in Denver now? No, no, no. This is someone else. Someone oh. else. That Shivers sent Oil oh, Rudy. Yes, Shivers. <laughs> <laughs> and then Cameron Gardner says, Chrome Star, when are you going to finally make the trip to Denver for submission? I don't know. When they let me back in America. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get can back we, in America. Can we talk about that? Or should we leave that off camera? Mm. No, okay. Not getting any time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get it sorted out to get cool. back into America. Um, and then we've got. What's your opinion of music? Oh, I, I bet you just already covered that one. Uh, there we go. Chrome Star Dutty is crazy. Good. How do you switch between Iron Soul and Chrome Star? That's a good question. We got Brandon Barry. So how can you go as an artist from one one minute you're just moody? Ugh. That's right, though, right? Like, like moody, mate. Like good moody, good moody. Yeah. <laughs> so then, like this Iron Soul was all musical, and yeah. Mm. How do you kind of, as an artist, just think, right, I'm parking that today. I'm going to do this. Is it like you said earlier? It depends on your mood, who you with. No, it wasn't even that. It was making grime. as Iron Soul. Yeah. It was all sample based, isn't it? Yeah. It was all sample based. So obviously, when I checked you lot, the Croydon lot from the dubstep, the two step era, that yeah. side there. I was more intrigued in like the bass lines and that, you know what I mean? Like the bass. And then when I heard stuff like distance, cokey and that, got more technical. I'm yeah. like, oh man, I want to start playing ball with this. I want to be Kobe Bryant and start playing ball with this. <laughs> I got involved with that. So it's a diff it's a whole different thing. Yeah. I'm not I'm not iron so right now, I'm growing stuff, I ain't. So when you That's speak to iron so it's a <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of emotion <laughs> yeah. in the iron soul stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all sample based and whatever. But with Chrome Star, it's more hands on, it's more technical. Do you know gotcha. what I mean? Yeah. All of that, man. Um, and then we've got, we get everyone locked in, by the way. If you want to get your question uh, asked or answered, leave a comment in below. We are gradually getting through them. There's loads in, mate. This is... Big up, Jen, Aperture. <laughs> What's the key ingredient to mix well with vinyls? I ain't mixed in vinyls for years. But I'm thinking about mixing in vinyls. I'm sure I was thinking about it. But I don't know, man. There's no quick... There's no just quick... cut your dubs at 140 BPM. <laughs> yeah. I just keep the... Yeah, just keep the pitch on zero, zero, zero mate. Job yeah, done. Yeah, simple. Um, Who said that? Uh, Dio Gandhi Becker. Yeah, if you get tunes that are like one... 141.3 BPM. Go back to the producer and tend to switch it to 140. <laughs> and then you can mix. <laughs> but that is a short vinyl. Yeah. Good to mix on vinyl though, because it's, it's nice. Um, here we go. What direction do you take when you come to mix down a track? Like the real basics, a quick rundown. Can you do a quick rundown of a Chrome Star mix down? Quick rundown. Drums yes. first. Drums first, and you got to have the bed. The melodies and the bass right at the end. So the bass is what sets the melodies, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, drums first always, man. And then uh, David Daniel says, um, when did you decide to bring Iron Soul back? Was something missing in Grime and you decided to come back and show them how it's really done? <laughs> Again? Yeah. <laughs> Love that. You know what? Big up for that though, bruv. Because you know what? Grime was getting too hard. It was getting too grimy. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'm trying to say, this is why I brought back Iron Soul because of the whole, the whole soulful movement. The whole Grammy used to get a bit soft, didn't it? Not soft, but they're actually laughing at me. Isn't it? <laughs> Not soft, but a bit more suave. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a bit different. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually... <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got Emil uh, Carly says big ups. So big ups to you. Thanks for joining us. Right. Um, then we've got uh, there we go. All right, call back up now. So there we go. There we go. There we go. Right. When's the next date? Still, we covered that. Will Chrome Star release anything new soon? So we covered that in terms of the Nebula 003. So what's that? Yeah. Before the end of the year? 
Yeah, definitely. Yeah. This year. yeah, yeah. Um, is the bees? It's forthcoming for a long time now. Ever going to get released? That's Whoa. my next one. That's the next one. That's 004. Big up the Zach Zozzle. There you go, mate. That's 004. So what do you reckon? So early next year? Next year, definitely. So it's coming, mate. Good question. Very good question. Sure. Um, then we've got uh, Avery Trotter says, can you give any tips on shakers, hi-hats? Also, such such nice shuffle to yours. That's what he's saying. So you've you got a nice shuffle to your hi-hats. And... Mm. Any tips on there? Drum and bass, man. <laughs> Echoes, delays in your shuffles, man. You gotta have some delays, unless you can program it. Yeah. But you ain't getting the same effect to how you want it to kind of. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know that little. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some delays, man. Delays on your shakes and your hats and everything, and you get that. Uh, big up Benjamin V. He says, "I beg you, check the inbox to ID this white label." Right. Do you know what, Benjamin? To prove this is like entirely live and raw, mate. What we'll do. No, not not in here, not in here, not in here. What we'll do, we'll get, we'll find that inbox and we'll get it played. I've got now, my phone. Now, now we've run out of questions. Talk about Grant. So, <laughs> not quite sure what's going on here. There are questions right in front of us, and now they've been disappeared. So, so if you want to interact, please do um, comments in the below the video, and we'll, we'll ask Chrome Star right here. We're live. We said it'll be about half an hour. We've probably been about uh, twenty-five minutes. It'll probably go on a little bit longer than half. Hour. I hope you're up with that. Have the cars oh, on the meter outside there. Right, there we go. The questions are back. So, um, where do we get to? Where do we get to? Ah, oh, he's lost us now. So, uh, there we go. What's, what's the most unusual record you've ever sampled? Unusual record I've ever sampled? All my dinosaur stuff, they're all unusual. But it's better if I say sample. <laughs> Come on, you can tell us one. Weekend. Weekend. What? Tell us more. When? What? When? Recently? I sampled the weekend on the track called Emotion. Right. On the Iron Soul track. There you That's go. It. Dig that out and see if you can find it. Yeah. Can, can you? Um, the guy asked us to check the white label for an ID. Um, if you send that to the Get Dark inbox, do you want to check that? Um, we'll try and get that played, mate. Don't worry. Um, there we Just go. Just get him sent to my email. Or send it to Chrome Star's email. Do you want to yeah. give him out on here, or do you want to? It's K R O M seven S T X R at gmail.com. There you go. So we'll just re watch this video back later on and you'll better yeah. take it down. <laughs> <That> was... <laughs> right. um, what other producers are you rating in 2016 and who to look out for in the future? That's a good question because you've always had some young guns on Nebula and, yeah. the, and the Starfleet team and that. So any, anyone you can name and mention? The people are always rated on Nebula. Dark tantrums, first and foremost, my bro. I've been listening to Mystery, yeah, from Birmingham, yeah. I've been checking into Felix from Birmingham. I got a release from Felix coming up, yeah. Wait till you know it is, yeah. Release though, it's gonna be <laughs> banging. Old Tac Felix, Birmingham, O one two one, yeah. And I've been listening. You know what? To be honest with you. Yeah, Outside of Nebula, yeah. I've been listening to a lot of Afro beats. Why? <laughs> Banging. <laughs> Afro beats, fam. Yeah? Can you hear the Afro beats on that one? Banging. Is that next to you then? No, it's not. I don't know. It's a different ball game, but the music in general. Yeah. And then it's that. Someone's got a uh, big up Philip Staminov. He goes, What's up, bruv? Chrome Star, bro, please come back to Bulgaria. The last Get Darker show in Sofia was mad, but so long time ago. Do you know what? That was a good show. Do you remember that? Bulgaria. Sofia. Yeah. That was good, mate. That, that was, was good. Be up Martin on that. If you're locked in, get us back over, mate. We'd love to come back, do another Get Darker thing out there. Um, Benjamin Thompson Gardner says, still planning to release Life in the City featuring Shanti. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, big up Zoe, big up Shandy, man. And then Erica Hutchinson says, uh, for example, Sweet Nightmares, how long did that take you to produce the whole track? That's a big tune as well. That was a big zoo. Yeah? Yeah, that was a big zoo. <laughs> That's how long it took me to make that tune. I fell asleep making it. And I had the maddest nightmare. Now, not even a nightmare. It seems a bit more extravagant, isn't it? But like, I had a little dream on that night. 
don't even want to talk about it anymore. But <laughs> the tune come out of that. Where it come out. You woke up and it was finished. Yeah, I woke up, fam. I just saw my brother's face. I was like, this is even more mad. He's on a bunk bed, isn't he? <laughs> Uh, Johnny NG says, will First Kind ever be released? I, I, I get the feeling here, Chrome, there's loads of people asking for tunes that ain't come out. Tell me what you want to come out and I will I will put them out. If, so, you give me, if you give me two tracks that you want coming out right now, I will sign them to get darker. Right now. Pen and paper. Yeah. Did you hear that? <laughs> did you hear that? You know, you know she's recording, man. Actually, did you hear that? You can't go back on this. T, you hear that, B? Okay. Right. Done. Give me two tracks you want to see coming out and I will sign them to... Do it. Do it. Don't let me down. I'm relying on you lot. You know it's a favourite. Get Darker TV 040. It's probably my favourite set. You and Son of Sealer. I don't know how you keep in check. Tell Tell list all the time. Sealer Tell list all the time. Right. Um, I said 040, you know. Not even... Because, uh, bub, when... How, how many episodes has he got now? 300, mate. Yeah, 300 I didn't keep in check of that. Bro, I'm about to come out with a normal you can, like, when, when you're typing it, uploading <laughs> it, and up, like, but you can't just put 40. He's like, 040, oh, oh, mate. So we're in double figures now. So, uh, that's, that's a boring So what was 199 then? Oh, I can't remember all them. You see what I'm saying? But I remember the ones that stick out that I, that I listen to a lot, even now. Trust me. Hey, do you remember that film? That. Do you remember that film, Mac and Me? No. Should I? I don't remember Mac and Me. I look up Mac and Me, the sci-fi film. Fuck E.T., yeah? Look up Mac and Me. Mac. Yeah? <laughs> uh, be up Bayfield locked in. Yeah. Um, Bayfield. For those of you who want a little bit of a laugh after this live Q&A, go on and get dark Facebook where, where you already are. Go on the pictures and have a little scroll through the pictures from the 10th birthday and there's one of Bayfield going and there's one of Bayfield gone. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Have a look. <laughs> where? When was this? I'll show you. I'll show you after. Um... Yo, Chromie, can we expect tracks like Badman again? Track gets me in the mood every time. We got Jet Lungard. Jet. Jet Lee. Jet, yep, Jet Lee. Yep. Yeah, a couple. Yeah. Right, he, he's a... Old tight, old tight Jet, man. Right, and then we've got uh, someone saying, come to Malaysia, Kalawanji 2. We spoke about Kalawanji 2. Flex fan. Are you going to do any more stuff on Flex fan? Any more shows on Flex? Flex of Femme. Flex is man then, man. Flex is like family. Too much shit happening in my life, bro, for me to go back on Flex. You know what I mean? Not like that, but, I mean, there was so much going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, leaving the house and... Yeah. A couple of people feeling ill in my family and, like, my grandma and that feeling ill. I had to kind of put a pause on that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But J5's on there anyway, so I can go on there anytime I want to go on there. Yeah, be like J5. Okay, Jay, my bro. So then, uh, we got James W. Vincent. Good to have you with us, mate. Local boy as well. Good to see you joining us. Where's he from? Um, the, the posh part of Croydon called Addington, where I'm from. Croydon as well. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah. <laughs> and then Axel Allen says, could you see yourself releasing any more music on Deep Medi? Mm. Yeah, it can happen. But obviously, Deep Medi is Deep Medi. Yeah. And Nebula is Nebula, so... If I'm making bangers, what's the point in them putting it out on anyone else's label? Do yeah. you know what I'm saying? I yeah. respect Deep Medi every time. Absolutely. But it only makes sense. I'm a bit worried here though. When you've said that about them two tracks, everyone's going to say Kalawanji 2. <laughs> it's like, I probably can't agree that one. I think you've got to speak to Malo. <laughs> yeah. And it'll probably be a very, um, nah. You yeah, know. Um, right, Seventh Chamber needs a release. See, I'm getting a vibe here, Chrome, right? So there's loads, loads of tracks. You're sitting on so much, so much music that people know. Mm. One can't yeah. get. So, yeah. is there a game plan in that? Have you held stuff back purposely? Have you not flooded the market with a Chrome Star release every other week purposely? Like, you know what? Why are you I'm, sitting on so much? I'm trying to keep up with the times, bro. Like, but you're sitting on more than anyone. Yeah, but I'm keeping up with like what people want, and like I don't listen to anyone when I'm at home, innit? Yeah. I just listen to rap music. I just listen to. You know, Afro US rap, Afro beat now. yeah, Afrobeats yeah. now. I listen to people like the UK rap scene. I'm, lis I'm listening to rap music a lot, hip hop a lot. I sort of listen to. So I don't tune into Rinse of Fame unless I'm in the car with the missus and yeah. driving around, family, family. That's it. But I don't know what's going on out there. 
of what people want. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not always, I'm, I'm not active like that. So therefore, you, you don't never find yourself following a trend that, ah, oh, this yeah. certain sound's got really popular, I'm going to jump on that. Yeah. You just do what Chrome Star does. Yeah. But in respect though, because obviously yeah. people, they do whatever they want to do in it. But me, I'm just... We got Miss Hiccups over there. Yeah, I do whatever I want to do. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. If it makes me yeah. a, if it makes me a stubborn person, then cool in it. But <laughs> so here's a good question. We got Reese Palmer. Says, "What's the Gabba influence tune you dropped on your last Get Darker? You dropped uh, at System at Coco last year. Gabba, Gabba Wasp." He says, "Gabba Wasp." Shit, I forgot about that tune, you know. Gabba was. Yeah, that's what it says there, yeah. Yeah, Gabba was. What's so you, my influence on it? Yeah, so you, yeah. It's a genre called Gabba. You know about Gabba? Can't keep up with it, but I know about it. Gabba's like... Well, in the literal sense. Brum, 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 brum. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, With that uh, whole, how would you dance to it? It's like, no, I, I, you dance to it. <laughs> After you. I wouldn't have to dance to it, but it's like hardcore, isn't it? Yeah. It's like happy, not even happy hardcore, but it's like hardcore. But at 140, so I think one time I went to one rave, I think it was in Belgium, and I was with like, um, who's Mark, Mark one's crew in that? Barra Syndicate. Barra Syndicate, I was with them lot, and we was in, a, we was in the VIP room, yeah? And we could just say, and we was all like thinking, what the fuck's going on? Why are we in this VIP room and not over there? And I heard this tune, I'm like, I oh, just one tune. I'm like, yeah, do you know what? I've got to do something right now. And when I went home the next day, I just pitch bend up some B-line <laughs> and that. Oh, no, no, no. 140. I was like, yeah, this sounds banging. <laughs> I'm sitting there by myself, bro. My cat going ham and that. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, Bruce one. Palmer on that one. Um, I'm gonna do something like that, definitely. Uh, someone says, "What's your um, be up Reams locked in? Good to see you, mate. Uh, what's your most memorable gig? Whoa. That's a tough one. It's good. Surely it's gonna be what the get darker cable when you kick your rucks up on the whole, the whole, the whole set. No, do you know what with that? Yeah, I don't know. I've I done too much thingy in it, so I was like, Sprite. Yeah. Yeah, I done too much Sprite with Sook Night. We up Sook. Yeah, big up Sook though, the culprit. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I was. So we've got loads of people uh, coming here. There's a couple of people saying, Chrome Star, he didn't know. Big tune. Those people, you have to read back on these, mate, because we're just going to be listing off your whole archive. You probably How do I read them back tunes. though? Do I read them back on the. On the on we'll show Facebook? you. We'll show you. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Um, then we got. Uh, Gabba Wasp, will it ever be released? I can't find it. Gabba Wasp, that's the same tune. Yeah, will it ever Gabba be released? It's coming, man. Yeah? It's coming, yeah, yeah. So it's for those of you who just joined us, it. thanks a lot. We're live here from South Croydon with Chrome Star in the place. Um, get involved, ask your own questions in the comments below. We are getting through them or we're catching up now. Um, so hit us up, we will get through them and we'll ask the man while he's here. Um, can you tell us about your collab with Koki? How was it working with him and when will it get a release? Collab with Koki. Who said I got a collaboration with Koki? RJ oh, Elliott. Reckons you have? Nah. No. No collaboration with Koki. Koki's. We're in. We're, in, we're talking about doing a release. Yeah. Um. So I've, tried to, to, I've tried to make a tune with Koki, but there's just too many ideas going everywhere. So nothing ever happens, is it? Yeah. Just the just the just the beat and a. You get me shout, Koki, my brother. <laughs> Done, uh, Reem says, who's your favourite UK HH artist? So UK hip hop artist. Any UK favorites? hip hop artist? Come on, man. Clash the cough. Yeah, and skinny, man. And gigs. That's all I'm saying. There you go. Big up Reem's on that. Avery Trotter says, uh, so is the bass line on Mercia actually made from a brass sample? Or is it purely synth based? It's a brass, but over EQ'd. Direct answer there, mate. My engineer gave me a headache. <laughs> he gave me a headache when he heard the brass. He was like, how the fuck does this brass sound like this? I 
said, yeah, man, I over-EQ'd that. See my EQ, 16-band EQ. Boosh! <laughs> yeah, so over-EQ brass. Um, till it red lines. Out of 10, how much do you want to see Scream play dubstep again? Wait. I weren't even making dubstep when Scream was DJing. So... <laughs> For me to, I, actually, I was making, not like that, but to see Scream perform and play dubstep again. Oh, madness. Yeah. It's got to happen. It's got yeah. to happen. Hopefully one day it will happen, but Scream, all tight Scream. Yeah, big up Scream ball. Right up. Um, so then we've got a uh, main points of the Mental Universe track regarding production. Actually, I've got a question on this. There's two snares. So just go, right. and if you know how to mix it, which I do now, it's fine. If you don't, you can catch people out with that tune, mate. <laughs> but you, you know what I'm talking about, right? It doesn't just go, there's a couple of little wonky snares that are, just catch you off guard, which for me makes the whole track interesting. But what was, why? Jazz. Right. Jazz. So you, thought you swing that one and whack that one there and swing that one and... No, if, if you hear jazz... You swing you hear that. Yeah. It's jazz, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> when I'm sitting at my home, at my mum's house, listening to jazz with a fella, I'm always listening to jazz. Gotcha. When I'm at my mum's, like my mum, my mum's fella and I listen to jazz, in it? So I'm... Anytime, it's coming from my mum's now. Yeah. All I could do is... You know what I'm saying? So I've got to sit there and be like... So I get up. I've got to go get darker in a minute. <laughs> you finish. You know them ones? But yeah, it's all about jazz, man. Grooves. In, how about, this is this is a great one. Big up Marcus Tal Talabs. He says, any classic hidden sets from 2007, 2011? I assume he means any recordings that you've got sitting on your hard drive. Listen, I got, I, got, I got one recording, yeah? From Deep Medi, yeah? Proper exclusive, and Mala knows this as well. I'm Pokes. Uh, Deep Medi in Belgium, yeah? The first time I played Attention. And I got the recording, bro. This was in like 06. Yeah. Couldn't even mix, bro, for shit, bro. <laughs> On vinyl, I couldn't even mix for shit. And that was my second set, you know, Ash. My first set was DMZ. Which and my set When Kyle Wendy came out the same year, it was my first set. I had five tunes. I had five tunes. Brother had five dub plates. Mala gave me an advance to cut some plates on that and that was it. <laughs> uh, then we've got um release Spartan dub. There we go. Sounding sad and mad on the antisocial boat party. So there's loads of requests here for tunes you should be releasing, so Spartan we'll, we'll work on it. Yeah, without doubt. Um, was that your tune that Coasty, Koki posted on Twitter? Uh, we covered the Koki thing. Yeah. Um, when it's we, called Spaz, just in case you don't know. It's when can Spaz. we hear you at a party? So any gigs coming up that we can sort of shout out? Um, I'm hungry next week. Yeah. Hold tight, Matt. Cool. Got a great crowd out there. And then we've got... Um, Gumila. Cool. What's that? It's cool. What's that next week? Gumila, Pierre. Cool. What's it called? Uh, big up Duku as well, Bill. All, all the, the Mind crew down in Brighton. He says, when's Kalawanji Repress coming out? Listen, I put up a tweet here saying, if it ain't Nebula Music Group, fuck you. You see what I'm saying? And the reason why I said that on Twitter, yeah, a couple of people took it out of context. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But the reason why I said that is that people asking for so much music outside of my own home, in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I play a lot of GTA. <laughs> so does he. Have you, have you played Mafia 3 yet? No. I just clocked it today. I just finished it today, bro. <laughs> um, 
and tell Chrome to do his Batman thing. We got Joker looked in. <laughs> Joker says, tell Chrome to do his Batman thing. What's that then? Yes, Joker. Salute, sir. What's the I don't know what that is, mate. The Joker knows. I ain't even got... That's why, that's why I should have worn my Batman hat, you know, my whole outfit. <laughs> I told you, innit? Yeah. I right, big up Joker, man. Come on, man. <laughs> the life, innit, bro? <laughs> right, big up Joker. I bet up. Um, right, here we go. We've got um, Nathan Rowell says, have you got a favourite dubstep MC? Favourite dubstep MC? I didn't even know dubstep had MCs. Pass that one. No, 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 wait, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Crazy D and Pokes. Crazy D and Pokes. They're the only dubstep MCs. Go ask now. Go ask it. So we got Nathan Rowe, there you go, mate. Uh, how about um, Path of Jar, Creeper, Bailey's in a Mug, all with Cess Man for the Get Darker release. There you go. We got Dylan Scalet. Um, we got Joker. We got the um, the Batman, the Batman maneuvers. What's for he saying? What's he, well, what's he saying? Is he saying? Oh. Joker. <laughs> I, fam, I can go across the road right now and change into my clothes, fam, and I'll come back as Batman. Different. I got the cape, everything. I got everything, bro. I even got the horns and that, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get at you, Joe. Don't worry about that. Still. <laughs> Still. So, if you've got questions for us, quickly get them in quick before we run out of time. Hit them in the comments and we'll quickly ask them, squeeze them in. So, Martin Supremo says, When will you play in London? You are my favourite dubstep producer and I want to hear you live before I go back to my country. We got What's Martin Supremo. Martin Supremo, where are you from, bruv? Let us know where you're from, Martin. Where are you from? Joker says, Do it. <laughs> All right. When I come Bristol, I'm going to show you what time it is. I'm going to come up with my R8. And my pink one. <laughs> you still got that, yeah? Pink one. Yeah. I thought you were going to change it for like a like more boisterous colour than that. No. Stick with pink, pink, yeah? Yeah, pink's the yeah. colour still. <laughs> um, Martin Supremo. So let us know where you're from, mate. So, yeah. so, so what hell, anything, we've spoke about loads here, but anything else we haven't spoke about, do you think, right, we need to chat about this? Anything you want to rise to the little nice table we've got here? Live. What's going on? Life, bro. Everything good with you? Yeah, everything's good, man. Everything's good. I'm just chilling, like I said, I'm moving out. Full headache. Yeah. Did you get more food? I've got dessert. <laughs> you got dessert? Yeah. Oh, you yeah, yeah. So, mine's in the desert right now. Out in sticks. Yeah, out of the way. You got that dessert. Desert. I know, it looks alright. Does it? I didn't even clock that. No, <laughs> bro, I'm allowing me. So there's not dessert over there, we're talking about you're in the desert. I like your style, mate. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you've done well there, you've done well there. You get me? We're the same age, so you should have been there to clock on. Um, do you still use software or hardware only now? Sorry, no, I misread that. Do you still use all software or any hardware now? Um, we got RJ Elliott. Good question, mate. Let's, let's talk studio. Come on, let's, let's, let's get some chromey secrets. I don't use no sound card or no nothing, bro. I use hi fi. I've got a Technics hi fi with speakers. Yeah. Yeah. And what I'm basically doing is I've got a little. I've got a little mixer on that to my USB. So I'm wiring that into this and wiring that into that and going into that and going out. Yeah. So basically when I when I when I'm exporting a tune and recording it into another computer. So I've got another computer sitting in the corner. Yeah. And I'm recording it from the tubes from my Good TL time. audio. So I'm just recording it out of that. And that's it. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing, but <laughs> Serious, it sounds, sounds alright though. Yeah, it sounds banging. Like, <laughs> if you know it sounds good, then cool in it. Yeah. I never went to school in it to learn music and that. I don't know if self taught. Back. Yeah, self taught, man. They got everyone that started from scratch. Yeah, learn off their own back, man. That's it. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I got a mic and that. I don't even know what I'm doing with the mic. Where to 
use it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so then someone says, uh, I just saw this here, favourite beer? Bro, come on, man. Peroni. Peroni, good choice, man. Good choice. And Peroni. Then... It's soft. It's a soft beer. It's more a bit, it's not loud. We got Josh Hind Lane. He says, Dark Side, what do you think of the sound system scene in London? Mate, that's a sore subject, mate. Um, there's no sound system nah, in London. Nah, and we put the RC1 sound system into fire on Friday for the second time I've done that. I've done it in 2012. Couldn't even turn it up on the first notch. No joke. Uh, this RC1? Was a, yeah, mate. Yeah, that system bangs. But I know what that system's capable of. And we put it into room two in fire. Mallow and Joe Nice for three hours. Youngster and Jay Kenzo. Me and Cyrus and BZ. Obviously, that was the biggest set. Um, Chef with his fucking box of dubs, mate. It, right, big up Chef, though. Big up Chef all. It, it was big in there, but you know what? It, it sounded good in there, but that to just wedge the bass up every every other track, that little, mm. a little, just to let them know that this is what RC1 can do, but because of restrictions, they can't do it. So unfortunately... Yeah, but what's restrictions, though? Like, because when we done it in 2012, we had, I'm not even joking, I saw the people from my own eyes, mate, they turn up with a meter, like a little thing, and they stand outside over the road from, this was at fire. Through the government and that. Like. And listening at the fucking, and basically if the, if the sound, and RC1 guys are professional, so they're like, look, yeah. I, I can rag it, but your night's going to get locked off early. Or we can be sensible about it, which is disappointing, and have a good night. Bruv, I would have come in there and played a banger, <laughs> loud volume, and just run out the building quickly. <laughs> With my backpack as well. With my backpack. <laughs> I would have got my backpack missing in the car. And that's it. I would have dragged you lot as well. You <laughs> so know that GTA? Yeah. <laughs> you know that Grand Theft Auto fam? I would have been like, yeah, play a banger. Oh, yeah, you man, I'm coming with me. So to answer your question, mate, I'm a little bit kind of in the dark on that at the moment. If you can find somewhere in London where I can get this RC1 back for the third time and let it loose, tell me, because I'll do it. Um... Can't be so much more than that, mate. It was a good party, though. Um, so, what's the best way to hit you up with dubs? What's the best way someone can write some beats and get them to Chrome Star? Um, my email, isn't it? K R O M seven S T X R at gmail.com. There it goes. Read it out twice now, so you might have to listen back to the video. K R O M seven S T X R at gmail.com. Hope you got that this time. So, send it, hit him up with an email. Right, so. Um, I probably need a piss, you know. <laughs> right, two more questions then, then we'll let you go. No, um, no, we can jump. We can jump. Right, so... Uh, I don't want to leave no one out in it. I don't want to feel like man's bad man. Like. Uh, what was going Come to Brighton, no sound restrictions. We got Duku. Maybe we need to chat, mate. The only thing is, I'll see... Yeah. I'll see one in, uh, in the Volks. <laughs> then walls will fall down. You know the Volks well, innit? Yeah. yeah. Well, Brighton, love that venue, yeah. Love that venue, mate. We got the mind crew. Right, so quick, That's deep we'll in the take two more questions. Hit us up in the comments. Crime Star needs to pop to the ladies. Um, two more questions. We'll ask you quickly. Ladies. Oh, oh. oh yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we'll um, then we're going to wrap up for this live Q and A. So I've loved it so far. Have you had fun, mate. It's all right, now. I want some of that dessert. Though. Sorry, desert. Desert. <laughs> you want some de desert? Now? Desert. <laughs> Loads well, of, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, a few people. Um, you know, you've got new Power Rangers coming up. Is it? You're going to get the outfit. We'll stick to Batman. Brad, you the one that dressed up as like Turtle the other day at the Christmas thing. You and Distance dressed up as Turtle. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dark Side dressed up as a Turtle, a Ninja Turtle at Christmas. No, in Three years ago. No, Fourteen. That, that was um, that was distance and Cyrus. It don't matter when it was. It was, was a turtle. Oh, he, Captain Hook, mate. Have you seen the picture? I've got the picture. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna lay it out on Facebook. I'm gonna show you what time it is. <laughs> uh, we got Finn while locked in. Good to have you with us, mate. We, we got, got Adam Lippert as well. Salute, sir. Um, so we're gonna take two more questions. Um, I've never heard a Chrome Tune live. How much am I missing out? Benjamin Thompson God. <laughs> Wait, Come and see me, I know, I know Benjamin from. Thompson Gardner. He's from America, isn't it? Because I ain't been to America. That's why, Benjamin. You ain't heard me live. I swear, could you? My main customer. Yeah. Loyal. Loyal. Benjamin, 
loyal. <laughs> um, right, so have you got a loyalty card from Tesco or not? Is it Tesco or, or, or when, when is this? <laughs> no. Where'd you get a loyalty card, a loyalty card B? Sainsbury's. Loyalty. A loyalty card. We've not got one then. No. Right, so I've always got a loyalty Someone else asked you, Jan's uh, van der Herk says, Dark Side, one for you. When are you next going to do a Get Darker Night in the Netherlands? Mate, we've smashed it with Get Darker 10 this year and we're going to be taking it back in Europe next year. Next one is 28th of January in Prague. So hopefully we'll be in Holland soon after that, mate. And I've been talking to Dark Side about doing the Nebula. Take over. Get darker. Yeah, we'll. That's going to be the next conversation, not on camera. We'll do that UK, next. UK, world tour. Chrome Star, come to Philly. you got to sort out that American visa, mate. They're calling for you. Get on that. Um, Fuck the feds. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Isn't it? In respect. Yeah, of, of course, mate. Of course. GTA. Absolutely. I'm not saying. So, anything else we need to cover before we... That's 52, 55 minutes, you know. We said it's about 35, 40 minutes max. Now, big up everyone, man. Big up everyone. Thank you for joining. That's a massive audience. We've got loads love. of people locked in. Um, really, really appreciate it. Without any viewers, there will be no questions and there will be no point in doing it. So, thanks a lot exactly. for tuning in. There is an option after this video to subscribe to future live events. Hit that. And if you want to share it, share it as well. Um, that'd be good. Um, otherwise, uh, oh, one last question. We said we'd get one more in. Any thoughts on the status of fabric? Fuck the feds. <laughs> Fuck the government, yeah? Fuck what they think, yeah? I've never played in fabric. Once I've played in fabric. Yeah? That's all I'm saying. Fabric's a good place, man. And then we've got one last question, mate, and, and it's a good one to end on. What's your favourite strain of bud? I don't even smoke weed no more. What the fuck is he asking these questions, bro? <laughs> it's been four years since I've been smoking weed. But do you know what? I'm not even going to lie. I told T in that, yeah? Have they got that like, little vape and that with, with weed in it? Have they? Are you asking me? <laughs> I'm asking. No, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not asking or saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, it's mad. I'm trying to find a little vapor. And if you lot can find a vape or anything with a little buzz in it, get at me or ring me. 07714. No, 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 I just gave you my mum's number. She's going to get another new phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, change your number again for like the 10th time. This I just gave you my mum's number. <laughs> I've never known someone to go through as many phones as Chrome Star. <laughs> Chrome, it's been a pleasure, mate. Come on, man. Sick, Bring man. it in. Bring it in. Love you, bro. Long overdue. Love so thanks bro. a lot, everyone, for looking in. Live q and Chrome Star. How's that? Distance last week, Chrome Star this week. Don't get much bigger than that. So we'll be back. Live Q&A. Who you got next? No, I'm going on there on Wednesday. It's a good weekend. Weekend? Weekend holiday for you, man. That's bad, man, isn't it? Why I'm still streaming. Weekend? I'm going to Cape Verde, off the coast of Africa. Yeah. And I'll come, bruv. Back, I'll come back pink. Bruv, you've got to be careful over there, bruv. I heard there's a couple, 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 couple lions Shaka over it. there. Shaka. <laughs> Say bye, bye. Bye, everyone. See you later. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Laters.